Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Sarah Makati. So today I'll be showing you how to insert shoulder pads on a dress. If this is the first time of coming here, thank you so much. I hope you subscribe to my channel. So here these are the shoulder pads that I bought, which I'll be using for this dress. So you are going to fold the shoulder pad into two like this fold it into two and you would measure four inches and let me shift it closer so you can see properly okay so you measure four inches here and mark it down and on the other end measure four inches So I just use the chalk to trace it out and then we cut it. Okay. So having done that, I'm going to place the cut shoulder pad on the second one and I'll simply cut it to get the exact shape okay so this is the fabric that I'm intend to use so you simply fold it and I'll refold it again the second time I'll fold it again the second time so that I can cut out two pieces at once So I'm going to place the pad on the folded edge like so and once I'm satisfied I'll cut it round. Okay, so now that I have cut it, I would open it up and place the pad in between, kind of like sandwich it in. And I'll do the same for the second one. So you can stitch, you can stitch it in place. You can use your zigzag machine or you can use a serger and weave the ends. So I want to stitch it round. I used half inch for the stitching. I will still go ahead and weave out the, the ends so that it doesn't free. So I'm using my serger and I'll weave the ends. It's just like a precaution. You can make use of your zigzag machine to still serve the same purpose.
so I'll do the same for the second one So I've given it a good press and I'm set to attach it on the dress. You can see it's flatter now that we've pressed it. So you fold it into two and you notch the center. And I'll do the same also for the second one. If you don't want your shoulder pad to look flatter, you can as well fix it like that without ironing but i wanted to get a flatter look on the shoulder so it doesn't bulge too much okay so now i'm set to attach it to the dress generally shoulder parts are attached on the inside the wrong side of the fabric like so and then you hand stitch it in place however this style that i'm making requires that the shoulder part be placed on the right side so I'm going to be stitching it on the right side and not on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, so I would make sure that the center that I notched is on the shoulder, exactly on the shoulder point and I'll pin it up. So I'll just make sure that it's you straight. You make sure it's straight. You know it doesn't bend so much. Should be lopsided, and it should match with the sh the shoulder. It should be straight. <laughs> I think that should just be the English I should use here. <laughs> so I still pin it round. do the second side like I said it should be straight shouldn't be bending that's the reason why we notched the center so that it gives us uniformity you can see it has to be the same at the shoulder at the sleeve area it should be exactly on the sleeve or the armhole rather okay so you can see now i'll do the same for the second side Just go ahead and pin it. Can be kind of tricky, or just have to be patient. So I kind of eyeballed where the shoulder pad ended on the other place so that it would be the same with the second shoulder pad. We don't want one place to be looking low and the other part to be looking high. So even while you're pinning, you should check both shoulder pads to ensure that they are on the same location. All right. Yeah, so I'm done with pinning it now. We have to stitch it so you can hand stitch you can hand stitch it it depends on your choice especially for the because I used beads on this on this dress on the yoke you can see that I have already used pearls to bead it but I'm going to use my machine to sew it because of the pearls I'll have to change the presser foot so that it doesn't 
give me too much stress but if you're doing something like this and it it has pearls or other impediment you can use your needle and hand stitch it so i just i'm doing it gradually taking consideration to the pearls that i've already fixed in my next video i'll be showing you how i fixed those pearls i'll be showing how to fix pearls using a revert machine so if you're interested i'll i'll be grateful for you to watch it please like and share my video encourage us so we'll continue to put ourselves out there for you and if there are any questions you have please feel free to ask and i'll be in the comment section to answer your question as much as i can and if there are also other areas that you finding it difficult you could also state it in the comment section and i will work towards rectifying the problem okay i'm kind of tucking in the parts that i have already woven so that it doesn't show and the thread i'm using for this stitching for this stitching this particular top stitching I'm making use of an invisible thread, a monofilament thread, a black shade, so it doesn't get visible on the fabric. It looks really invisible, just as the name implies. If you don't have that thread, you can make use of a matching thread, or you could hand stitch it, you could tack it. It all depends on your choice. But for this, dress i used an invisible thread if you look closely you can barely see the threading it's barely visible so i'll keep stitching it until i get to the end okay So now I'm starting with the second one. When I'm done with this dress, I also intend to attach beads to make the sleeve look like a beaded sleeve. If you've been interested, I've already done a video on that. For this particular dress you could check among my videos you'll see the tutorial that I made concerning it so you can see it's super simple so easy and it makes your dress to pop
so guys this is the finished work you can see how the shoulder pad is looking exactly on the armhole of the sleeve it looks really beautiful i would really like to hear your comments to see what you think and if you try it please don't forget to tag me to make a mention please like this video and click on notification bell so that you can always get notification of other tutorials